Okay, number three disease we're going to have is Phytophthora blight. And the, in the bottom of this sheet is uh, a link to the fact sheets I do have. I do have uh, more than 80 different fact sheets and uh, um, more than 95% of them are new, very up to date. And this is the link and I have the handouts for everybody. They can uh, access to fact sheets and pretty much follow the recommendation. The, th the third disease I'm going to be talking about is Phytophthora blight. Phytophthora blight, if you want to know how important is Phytophthora blight, remember potato Phytophthora blight in Europe, Irish famine. That is one started with Phytophthora. That was one species of Phytophthora at that time and devastated in the potatoes in the Europe, particularly in Ireland, then lots of migration, death. Right now we do have more than 150 species of Phytophthora. One of them comes to uh, cucurbits, all cucurbits, pumpkin, melon, cucumber, uh, all of them. And plus this Phytophthora, this Phytophthora I'm talking ab about is, uh, um, here it is, uh, here it is, Phytophthora. Not only goes to um, cucurbit, but also goes to particularly pepper and eggplants. Uh, this Phytophthora has been in Illinois for more than 20 years. When I was still uh, in Montana, I was contacted and urged me to come as early because there was a devastation. In 1999 and 2000, we had losses 100%, many failed. 30%, 50%, several hundred losses in the, in the uh, pumpkin fields. Here, here they are. Here they are. Seems to me all cucurbits are susceptible, but uh, particularly processing pumpkins is a little bit more susceptible than others. And we tested no resistant cucurbits at all to this Phytophthora, called Phytophthora capsici. Phytophthora capsici. And we had to come up with really several uh, methods, what we call integrated disease management. And uh, first, uh, we, uh, to take care of them, we do have, uh, I, could, I could go back a little bit, we have uh, settling the death, then wine infection, leaf infection, and fruit infection. And first we developed the seed treatment for first time. Seed treatment very effective early stages. When we treat the seed, it takes care of the settling infection for five years. And Prior to 2000, people used to go back and seed the field again for second and sometimes third time. Since 2001, no one else had to go and seed the uh, field again because seed treatment is so effective and very little cost. I would say less than 10 cents per acre. Very, very good. Then. It takes about five years. After five years, we have to take care of the um, moisture, rainfall particular, particularly. Since we cannot control rainfall, we have to come up with something else. Uh, crop rotation is effective. Every at least three years or every four years, we have to uh, plant pumpkin. If we do plant every two years or sometimes three years, we are going to get the disease. Because the pathogen is in the soil. It doesn't need to uh, plant material to survive on. Really, that's in the soil and it goes up to four years. We monitor this one in the field. After four years, even if the pathogen is still in the soil, is not viable. Cannot really uh, infect the plant. Four years of crop rotation, then seed treatment, then have 
fungicide. Fungicide, we did not have practically any fungicide in 2000 effective. Since then, we have tested more than 50 different fungicides. Right now, we have about uh, uh, five of them are very effective. And uh, uh, rarely we lose even 10% right now, very, very rare. Uh, the fungicide seed treatment combined by fungicide application has been extremely uh, effective. But again, not 100%. Particularly rainfall, after rainfall, nothing is effective. However, uh, weekly application of the fungicide, we do have several uh, fungicides. I mentioned previously Orendus. Orendus is a new one, is very effective, particularly Orendus Ultra. We do have Runman is effective. We do have Revis is very effective. We do have Illumine is very effective. These four fungicides are commonly used for management of this particular disease and everybody is very, very happy. There is no problem at all. However, we do have to alternate every week. When we're using one fungicide from one group, a frac, frac group, and we have to go another one. I would say if anybody has a problem, use, uh, for example, Orendus or Revis, either one, then alternate with Runman or Elomine. All of them are effective. When you see uh, when you see the first sign of the disease in your field, that's the time you go ahead and apply uh, fungicide. One, one point is, um, when you see the infection that would be in the lower side of the field, you may, you may just uh, pull out a uh, uh, few infected uh, plants to reduce the inoculum for the rest of the field. So, this is pretty much what we have. Uh, we continue every year having experiment, at least uh, one, rather two, three experiment. Always I do have experiment in um, Tazewell County uh, in the past 20 years. This year I had one just to be harvested last weekend. Beautiful experiment, very good result. So far, we do not have any organic compounds effective against this pathogen. All we do have uh, recommendation for commercial growing in uh, just traditional production. Okay.